angry. <laughs> Look at that face. There's the Whimsicott. Ooh, Thundee's weird. That's a Series 12 team. This team does better against Series 13 teams, but I think we can just lead, like, Toxic of Talonflame. I think it's, it'll get us what we want. Um, and then in the back, Lando's very problematic for Lecky, so I don't know if I want to bring that. I think the Kyurem's definitely bring here. That whole team has... I can freeze-dry, like, literally every one of those Pokemon. And then we'll just bring our Kali in the back, I think. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Lando is actually going to be kind of hard to deal with. So, we'll see. Series 12 teams that have solid support beat so many hyper-offensive Series 13 teams. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's Series 12 teams are still really good. I think my best team for Series 13 so far is a Series 12 team. <laughs> like the one that I used today uh, on YouTube. So let's see. Whimsicott? Whimsicott Landorus. Like, good luck. All right, so there's two ways that we can deal with this. There's two ways that we deal with this. If I were to go Tailwind Talonflame, Fake Out Whimsicott, and you Airstreamed me, next turn I just take out your Whims. I don't know if I want to max my Talonflame. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, I don't know if I want to max it. Because if I just go max Airstream and lose myself to a Rockfall, I don't like that for me. I'm going to go with the Fake Out Tailwind first and see what they do. Because remember, Talonflame still outspeeds the whims. And if, like, they're protecting their whims, and, like, yeah, we'll see. Is it max attack Talon? Uh, I think it might be. Yeah. I think that it is. Landorus is a weird Pokemon to see here. You know, you don't see the Landorus that often. So there's the fake out. So we could have just nuked the whims, but we would have lost our Talonflame. And we need to set the Tailwind so we can keep up. So you can airstream my Coxicroak or Rockfall the Talonflame. If you're Rockfalling the Talonflame, you're going to be able to airstream, but that's completely fine because we're going to be able to get some pins. Some big pins with our Kyurem, I think. Orb, wow. Okay. It sucks Toxic Blast of Sash here. So you're going to be able to Tailwind me here. How's it going? It's going okay. Landris is such a weird mon. You don't see it. Just freeze dry. Oko, it might. I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to go Sucker Punch and freeze dry. I think that's the play. Sucker Punch isn't that much damage, but like even 5% more is better than nothing. It's not like we have anything else to use. They might even be protecting this turn, but like, okay, they're not. Light screen, no Tailwind, bro, where's the Tailwind? Ah, oh, we lose, we lose. We, lo we lost. Bro, what is this? Oh, that's really annoying. The fact, the thing that's really annoying about it is we could have just like killed the Whims. They didn't even protect. They don't even have protect, they have light screen. Like, they didn't even know that they weren't safe, you know? That's the thing that sucks about it. That's the thing that sucks the most. Let's see. We outspeed the Landorus. But they can just go for like a bunch of other stuff now. Just in case they do something weird. If their mons in the back suck, like we're okay. They suck a bunch of fine, they're tailwinding, right? Yep. Oh, it's so annoying. We outspeed the Lando here since it had to rock fall twice, but like, how's it going? I mean, we just started. So we're gonna get a plus two. But then we ran out of tailwind turns, you know? 
Landris, Landris into like the white screen. Like this is the one luckiest game ever, man. Ah, I made a whole team beat Whimsicott and then like we didn't even beat Whimsicott. That's stupid. That just shows how dumb that Pokemon is. Oh, uh, yeah, because, like, Talonflame is a good matchup against everything but a Landorus, which, like, why do they have a Landorus? Oh, let's just see if they have the wrong Mons. Like, Zacian's really good, but, like, let's see. And then Rilla. I still have one turn tail ones, so, like I still have shots. I mean there's nothing that would get me to get there's nothing that would get me, right? So we got we'll see it they should just have to protect and they win i can't go like protect max strike because then we still would we still would get outsped by tailwind <sighs> we'll see they don't protect they don't protect you know maybe the next turn they go into the tox because they see the big maximon you know hard to say big tox croak though first game <laughs> protect oh oh no protect Zashian, bro. Where are you looking? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, I think we won. Wait, hold on. It depends on who they're hitting. Are you hitting my Toxicroak or my Kali? Why not Darkness? Because Toxicroak is slower, so it wouldn't matter. Are you hitting my Kali? Did we just win? Oh my gosh, this guy misplayed so hard. I think I get it. Was it a misplay to not max? I think it was a misplay to max. It was, because like I could have went for a sucker punch. Let's see if I get it. I'm intimidated, remember? Oh my gosh, we won! <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Toxicroak busted. Oh my gosh, we take those. <laughs> well, we take it, right? I'll take it. All the way to the bank, yo. Let's check out this team. Did Zashian not have Protect? Bro, no Protect. Look at that set. The Unprotect was vested, right? Oh, Miracle C, okay. No, this guy doesn't even know what the word Protect is. This man has no Protect on any of his Mons. Zashian had Protect. The only Mon on his whole team that had Protect and he didn't even use it. <laughs> So town flame is like pretty goaded here, I think. Let's just think about how we want to set it up though. You don't have terrain. So like I could just lead Toxicroak to stop her TR once. I think we actually just lead like TR Kali. Or, or Toxicroak Kali. Like, is that right? Fake out. Astral. Worst case scenario, we lose them on. Is town flame good? Town flame is okay here, believe it or not. It's like actually not the worst thing ever. I don't know if I want Kyogre here. Kyogre's a hard sell. I'll bring the Kyurem, though. Uh, maybe. Kyurem's just kind of okay. Nah, I can't bring Ogre. You guys think Talonflame or Lucky's better here? Talonflame. It's my Eevee spread on Toxic Croak. Just full speed attack. You, you need full speed to actually outspeed... Um, Kali and Zashian at plus one from an airstream. So you need to be full speed. And let's go. Let's see. Are they going to go Amoongus? See, Amoongus Kali is the one lead I don't really want to see. We'll, we'll deal with it if we have to, but I don't want to see it. 
Amoongus Cali would suck. Because there's two things that happen with Amoongus Cali. Amoongus Cali, we either have to fake out the Amoongus, or that, this is same idea. Who do we fake out is the question. You know? Who are we faking out? Because if we fake out the Dialga and go for an Astral and you put my Cali to sleep, like protect Dialga, put Cali to sleep, we lose. That's game. If we fake out the Amoongus and Astral and you protected Dialga that turn, we win. Because then next turn we just Astral, actually, they'd still get Trick Him Up probably. But, you know, I think we just go for the fake out into the uh, Dialga and force. I think we have to force the Rage Powder because they it's a freaking Toxic Rope. So we, we they should be clicking Rage Powder here. Otherwise, we could just double into the Dialga and win the game. We'll see, though. Oh, they took a long... They're taking a long time here. Don't do me like this, buddy. Come on, man. Don't do it. Max Dialga. That should be fine. Because we just need to do enough damage to make the Amoongus within range of a second Astral. So, like, even if you were to go for, like, a Wormwind or, like, a, something into my Kali and get the KO somehow, like, I still think it's okay. Again, if your Dialga, like, that's such a weird max, too. No Trick Room? You just don't even care? Amoongus protects. It's a weird protect. Who you go after, though? It's no shit. Good damage. So I want to see what they're using here. Rock Ball into my Cali. Huh. Doesn't even do anything. And we, this turn we just double into the Amoongus. Dialga wouldn't have room for Protect. Actually, we're going to double into the Dialga. If you want to, if you want to Rage Powder me, go nuts. I kind of want to max my Tox Stroke this turn. Yep, this is fine. We might even just Oko that Amoongus right here. Part of me wants to, like, max my, uh, Cali. Expanding Force, just dumpster the Amoongus and just try and one-shot the Dialga with a, uh, a Drain Punch. If Toxic had access to, like, close combat, I'd be doing that sort of stuff. See, that's such a weird play, you know? It's just so weird. Why did you do that, like, first turn, you know? Oh my god, is that a crit? I'll take it. Mm. Mm. I'll get a beast. I'll get a, I'll get a Grimnade boost all the way boost. Why did you do that first turn, you know? That's so weird. Like, you literally broke your Amoongus' sash doing that play. So that's, I mean, you, you set yourself up for that one. Alright, so let's see. If they have something that's, like, scarfed in the back, this is where it would come. Kyogre could definitely be scarfed. Um, but I have a Toxic Croak, so... I got the Croak Goat! Guys, get those, get those gunk emotes up. Get those ready to go. I don't think there's anything actually wrong if I wanted to, like, max my Cali and just, like, protect it. Oh my goodness, that's so much damage. I'll get another one. We crit the Dialga, too! We didn't need it, because we already had the plus one. Toxicroak, man! My lucky boy! DP, baby! Drinking it. Going back up to full. Yeah, Ice Beam. Yeah, Thunder. Origin Pulse. Nah, we got Toxic Croak. Dry skin, baby. You can take out the Cali, though. It's fine. All right, so they have Volcanion in the back. We haven't even maxed yet. Let's think about what we need to max. Big Quakers. All the gunky motes, man. That's so good. Cali. Works for me. Works for me. You can probably get up the Trick Room. I don't think it really matters, though. I don't think you break the Toxicroak here. 
that's like the the reason the reason this works. Just gonna DP neutral damage. I'll I'll DP here. I don't I don't think I have to be afraid of that. We're just gonna max the cure him and go for a. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I went for like a hailstorm into the Kyger, I'd get the KO into it. But like I think you just warm win the Kali. Let's go. So we're just gonna ignore that Kyger because like what's it gonna do to a Toxic Rope, you know? Liam Jim, Li Liame Jim, we uh made, we Jim. Toxics are my respect. He was so cool, but didn't know how best to use him. Toxic was cool, mon. Definitely a good mon. Are you protect ogre or vest? Drain punch. So we could just take an eye out. Bro, oh, look at that damage. That's actually a lot of damage. That's a lot. So that's boom. It's gonna put the Kali within range for sucker punch probably. At least if it doesn't just get the KO here. Works for me. So we can sucker punch the Kali next turn and big Kyurem energy you can't shear cold my Kyurem <laughs> you can shear cold my my Toxo oh no para please please no thanks no thank you no thanks no thanks no 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 not today there's the TR so we just go sucker punch warm wind it up get those big wins see that dry skin though it's so good this you have Kyurem dry skin all right SP baby Yeah, Trick Room can be a hard matchup sometimes when they want to go for that weird play with the Moongus where, like, they just protect their teammate and try and go for a Spore so they can then safely get up Trick Room. It's, like, a little bit of a 50-50, but, like, we take them. Sucker Punch. Yo, Secret Tech Toxic Croak out here. Stealing the wins from all these guys. It's what we like to see. Big Thunder. Are you going to get the pair here? You didn't even Thunder my Toxic Croak, though. No respect. No respect for Toxic Croak. We take those wins. Kyger goes down. Toxicroak stands strong. This, these guys that are using, like, freaking Kyogres are like, oh, no, they're not supposed to know that they can use Toxicroak. And a freaking know, normal right? so, normal squad. They have a Torkoal, too. That's actually going to be really hard to beat for me. I think we have to go Croak. This is, like, actually really, really hard to beat. Because you can just switch in your Torkoal and, like, turn off my Kyogre. I think you have to go like this. I think you still need to bring Callie to be able to turn the lax off. Lax on? Lax off. Because, like, they're probably just going to lead with, like, Ludi at this point, right? I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do against this. I think Kurem's a good lead. Leki's okay, too. These two work. I like this just a little bit better. Let's try these. I'm not a big fan, but like, we'll see how this works. Belly drum lax? Yeah, lax is problematic. I mean, yeah, that, that team was made for that format, so it'd probably work. This is gonna be hard actually. Like, just because we got legendaries and restrictors doesn't mean it's not gonna be easy. Trick Room's really hard to deal with when they have like P2s and Orangurus. Like, it's hard. I hope they don't just like boom room me with the lax turn one, you know? Like, uh, I wouldn't like that. So my issue is here is I can get the P2 off the board and the Lax can definitely like max and do all the things that it wants to do. Please don't protect P2. Please don't protect boom room me. Like, please don't. I mean, it's not going to boom room, but like, please don't protect P2. That'd be so weird. And then, like, I really wish I had Kali to, like, switch in and turn off the cut stab. 
Oh, thank God. All right, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think just the Drain Punch will get the guy right off the board. And the thing is, like, the Lax is going to use Belly Drum, and he's going to send out Oranguru, and if I go for a double protect, they get the TR up. That's the issue here. And Oranguru can get Telepathy? Correct me if I'm wrong. Can Oranguru get Telepathy? Oh, he's a one! We lost. We lost. That's game. What the fuck? That's game. Chat, you ever seen someone get so destroyed? Just big got it. Not like this, right? Leaving it at one. New item, invisible sash. Like, yo, P2 has absolutely no business, like, living at one. Let's be real. We can take out the uh, Porygon here, no matter what it does. Like, recover's fine. We're going to double into it, just in case. Like, just in case we're doubling into it. We don't want to reveal counter yet. I think counter's our, our way to win. I just don't see how we break this lax now. You know what I mean? other moves are on that lax it's cavalier huh okay Can you max in that we have a curum and a kyogre If you want to max Quake, my Regilecki, I cannot stop you. I can protect, I guess. I think there's a higher chance that you go for something like a physical attack into my Toxicroak. I think you would want to go after the Toxicroak in case you have like a Ludi in the back. And so I, I think we would lose though if we protected our Lucky. Can you Quake it? Probably lost. Yeah, I also was going to say, I didn't know that I'd die. Counter might, Oko. Okay. Never lucky. He's just going to plus six. I think we're going to have to freeze this lax. You guys think Sucker Punch takes out from there? I don't think it would. I have no idea if you'd be able to go over. Quake still kills Lucky. Oh, really? Are you really doubling up into me? That's really unfortunate. I'm just gonna ignore my. You were just gonna ignore me? Uh, maybe you miss I horsepower? Let's see if I like body slam or something. Oh, sick. So they just let me kill it. That works. Nice. That's really, really good. Because we just need to wait out the trick room now. You know what I mean? So Lariat. Lariat with a plus three stockpile. Yeah, we'll see, man. I This lax is going to be impossible to break, I think. Never see Toxic anymore. I mean, I just... I've been playing for a while. Yeah, there's the Ludi. All right, so the Ludi gets messed up by Kyurem if we bring it in the right way. This is last turn Trick Room, right? Last turn Trick Room, cool. So we just want to try to bounce because our Protect's on cooldown. I mean, actually, no, fuck that. Like, we just want to go for a Wild Charge. Like, we can just kill the thing, we kill the thing. 
Um, I do think, though, that it's a good idea to just go for a sucker. Oh, we can't lose both of our mons here, though. That means we have to just hard switch in the QRM. Because if we uh, if we activate the rain, that's really bad. We're going to have to activate the rain. I like this play. Um, I switch to the Toxicroak, and then I'm able to send back out Toxicroak and Kurem and go for a pin with Free Strike Bake Out. Okay. Yeah, this is absolutely winnable, I think. And we're one crit from winning. I'll throw that out there. And uh, we'll see what happens. The meshes are turned to normal. Woody Cole's protect on cooldown. We don't even need to like fake out the looty. I think just freeze dry from Kyurem's enough. So we can fake out the lax. And then we're gonna have to freeze we're gonna have to freeze the lax, I think. I think that's our, our win con is freezing the lax. And the lack the uh, the Ludicolo can't be A V. If it's Yachi Ludicolo, <laughs> I will be sad. But I think preserving the Toxic was the right play. I think it was a smart play. So fake out the lax. Do you go for the double protect? We get the kill. It's lefty's lax. Holy crap. I mean, one crit, and we do a lot, you know? He has Darkest Lariat. He's lefties. This guy's going to be hard to beat. We got to freeze it, I think. I think, realistically, we should just try and time him, but I'm not going to be that guy. Freeze it. Never lucky. Crit. Oh, never lucky. All right, Toxic, get the help out, though. I'm about to just, like, Drain Punch my own Kira. Go back up to full. <laughs> That'd be funny. Dark Slayer, that's not gonna do enough at all. Yeah, you're weak. I'm Toxicroak. Do you not have a normal attack? Does Sock Power fade away? Not if you don't use um, the right moves. I am about to just drain punch my Kirin, bro. Like, go back up to full. Free Shot is four times effective against Water Grass. It's four times, yeah. That's why, that's why I brought Kyurem solely to fight Ludicolo. That's that's enough damage for like Kyogre to finish off, I think. I think Kyogre can do this from here. Even though they're at plus three, like I think we can. There's a rest. Like, okay, if that's how you're going to play it. All right, so I wonder if they have Sleep Talk then. I wonder if they have Sleep Talk. What do you guys think? Do you guys think they have Sleep Talk? There's no reason for, like, we can just like Drain Punch and Hearts Punch an Ogre. So rest stockpile. I actually think we can create situations where they'll never, like we just time them here. I want to see if they have sleep talk. Because if they have sleep talk, they have rest stockpile, sleep talk, darkest lariat. That's not enough. Toxicroak's just going to get too much health every single turn. So let's see if it's sleep talk. I go get this big health. And if it's not sleep talk, it's just big nap time. And if it's just big nap time... Sleep talk. Cool. So they actually like can't hit Toxic Croak. Like at all. They can Darkest Lair my Ogre, which would suck. Of course, you weaken my, my water spell. But Toxic Croak goes forever in this case scenario. It might actually be more damage to like when he Darkest Lair, it's my Toxic Croak to counter it. Because <laughs> it's static, you know? Yeah, we're one crit away from winning, but like I think we just kind of chill a little bit. Because he only has one Mon. And if this is his playstyle, it's going to take him like 10 turns to be able to do this. We don't have to take like full time. We don't want to like time ourselves. But we can just take a little bit longer. But we're going to get it. We could also just crit that Snorlax once and it's gone. Like DP baby. This, this Toxic is going back up to full. One in doubt. Water spout. Good damage. It's 
So last time he got lucky and sleep talked the Lariat into my Ogre, or else he would have taken more damage. He gets a stockpile this time, and it's going to fail since you can only get three. So yeah, all these end turn animations, they're just like killing him, you know? Along with his lefties. So we can wake up and Lariat spam my uh, Kyogre this turn. Let's see, I just let him sit for a little bit. You got, you got close with this one. Yeah, we're fine. If you want to wake up and rest again, like, be my guest. Be my guest. Hit that rest. I will crit you eventually with a drain punch. I'm the best. 100% <laughs> win rate continues with Toxic Croak. All right, so Xerneas is worth respecting. I think we can leave Kali Lucky here, though. Because, like, this is how I see it. Zekrom's an issue. No, actually, do we want to lead that or do we want to lead Kira? I think Kevin Kira in the back is the play. Because, like, Lecky's just good. Lecky just, like, deals with the Xerneas. Or just deals with the Volcanion. And then Kali's just, like, huge damage. And we just bring out the Kira to clean up. Like, Kira and Kyogre are just good cleanup in the back. I don't think we need the Tailwind here. I think we'll be able to handle this. If they max correctly and deal with the right Mons, maybe we'll get pinned. But I think we're okay. I don't think we need Tailwind. Free sure I goes hard. Yeah, uh, we just got to deal with the Xerneas. I think if we actually deal with the Xerneas, like Kirim just comes in and just goes. They didn't have a lot of raids for like a lot of stuff. Like they didn't have a lot of raids for a lot of stuff. Let's see what you got. Reshiram Zekrom. So in this case scenario, Zekrom can Airstream. Definitely can. Let me think about this. Do I just want to use Electro Whip? Like is that, a good, is that the right play? Because if I max the Lecky, I could just deal with the Reshiram this turn. Yeah, I think I will just deal with the Reshiram. Or I'm going to try to deal with it, sorry. Because we're going to go Astral. And I'm just going to try and get that guy off the board. If I don't, and they take out the Kali, that's fine, because it allows me to bring out the Ogre. Who are they maxing is the question. Like... I need to max the Lecky or click Electroweb to keep up with the fact that that Zekrom, who I'm relatively ignoring, is either going to be going for a Scale Shot, a Dragon Dance, or a Max Airstream. And so I, ha I have to respect that to a certain degree. But let's see. No Max. That's completely fine. So it's probably going to be the Dragon Dance option. I think we're, we're going to be able to take the Reshiram out here and get a boost to our Kali. This also lets us outspeed, like, a Scarf Zek with our Kali, just in case that was an option. And, uh... Astral! Big damage. He's now gonna be low enough if not just KO'd. Oh my gosh, we crit the Zek. That's probably a vested Zek then. Right? I'm, I'm assuming, like, maybe it was vested? I have no idea, man. I take those, though. Like, I still think I could've been going for a Dragon Dance, but, like, either way, we had the Airstream to keep up with it. We take those. That's a sharply boosted, and we gave it a plus one speed boost. Like, this is what happens. Like, this is when I was saying, like, Series 12 teams are better than, like, Series 13. It's like, this is what happens when you don't have, like, fake out redirection, speed control, stuff like that. Just came back from laddering my main on Showdown. Misty Seed's Celesteel is good. Ooh, that's nice. Though you don't need Thunder Cage. Thunder Cage is a little bit too slow, in my opinion. All right, we just KO here. Um, Astral... We have a Kyogre in the back, so like we're just gonna go after the Volcanion. Volcanion, common vest, anyways. Let's see, they're maxing. It's in a heavy ball, so that shouldn't be Volcanion. It should be Groudon. And if we take out the Volcanion, Kyogre just wins the game. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah, I got my Zarud from the uh, like whatever distribution everyone else did. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they go for a uh, a big KO into our Lucky. They can protect Volcanium, but they're still going to take a... Like, they might they might still lose their Groudon. And they're going to take a lot on the Lucky here, by the, or on the Volcanium, by the way. It's still going to take a lot. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So if you KO the Kali, I get to bring out Ogre and win the game. And if you KO the Lucky, I get to bring out Ogre and win the game. Wins up. Did they botch the release? Because, like, I'm pretty sure everyone that had it signed up for in time got the email. With damage. That's, so that's a vested Groudon. Has to be vested. So there's the Quake. You can totally go into the Lecky. I think there's nothing wrong with that. 
into Kali. So cool. I just bring up the Ogre and win the game then. We actually get to hit with the Lucky before. So like we're going to one shot the... Um... Ooh, let me think about that. I think we have to Airstream just to make sure. Just to make sure. And we have Freeze Dry in case we need it to. Yeah, lots of people have it set up. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like you got to have it already set up. I think we Oko the Volcanion with the Airstream, right? Am I wrong? I knew it would one shot the Grout on. Yeah, see what happens. We still have Kirim in the back, too. We just need to carry the Grout on. Grout can't protect, so. Worst case scenario, we're giving Volcanion some health, but like, yeah, we got the KO. Like, he's like really ridiculous. We take the crits, too! Yo. Big damage. Now, Kyogre just got a speed boost, which means it's faster than the Groudon, hopefully. Hopefully, be faster than the Groudon. Please be faster than Groudon. There we go. One in doubt, Water Spout. Just enough health to actually take that guy out. I know it's raining, uh, but he has Vest plus a Quake boost. So, like, it was close, man. It was close. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. Going undefeated back to Master Ball with this squad. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I might need two more. Can we just do it one more? I just want one more. One more. GG's. GG's. One more. Kingdra. Kingdra's really good. I wonder if that's going to be like weakness policy Kyogre, weakness policy. We could be weakness policy Kyogre, Moltres, or Kingdra. This looks like a job for Talonflame, I think, though. I think, like, Talonflame Toxicroak is a good weed. Actually, Lucky is, like, really, really good here. You don't have big ideas. Like, I can just go Lucky Talonflame and just probably one-shot someone right off the bat. I think that, like, Toxicroak is very good. I also think, like, Kyurem's really good here, too. Calyrex is really good. We know we're going to bring Cali. And then we just need something to check the Moltres. I think we're going to bring the Kyurem over the Toxicroak. I don't want to be too weak to Moltres if they take out my Lucky. That's what I'm looking at here. I think Kyurem's probably the right play, because you can take out the Kyogre, you can take out the Kingdra, you can outspeed the Kali and probably like Wormwind it or something. Earth Power, Max Quake into the Zacian. Let's try this. What did I start laddering at? Uh, like, Great Ball? Just Great Ball 9. I haven't lost a single game today. So I've won every single game with this team today. The other team we're using was like a joke team. That's why our, our record was kind of split. <sighs> Let's see. So, Comfy, they can trick him us too. I wouldn't want to see that, but it is. Uh, so, Comfy Moltres, like, if we get trick room, this is bad. It's bad. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It would suck. It would suck. Ally switch? Don't care. Do we have to Tailwind? Is another really good question. I don't think we Tailwind here. I'm gonna do it like this. I think they're gonna trick room me. I think they're gonna protect Moltres because that would also let the Moltres like get a free policy proc. Yeah, I don't think you. I, I think it's a Sash Comfy. That's why we're gonna double into it. And then we'll see what happens. If they hit, if they go for anything against Talonflame, like it's fine. If they go for anything against Lucky, it should be fine. Hopefully, it's not like a Scarf Kyogre. Protect. Got it. I had the right play. As long as we hit our um, dual wing beat, we win. We win. We should be able to Oko with Lucky, actually. I'm not going to lie. But, like, we should. That was a lower on the second hit. Because, like, what was going to happen? Like, if you max your Moltres and, like, hit the Talon Flame, like, they're still a Lucky. Like, if you Airstream me, like, yeah, that would suck. But, like, you still can't break the Lucky, you know? Moltres doesn't have the speed to actually outspeed a Lucky or make that work, so they wouldn't go for that. They wouldn't airstream it. They'd be darknessing. And if they darkness the Talonflame, well, we still have to be with Lucky and win. So now you can come up with anything you want. 
And we're just going to Tailwind now and just mess you up. And there's a t and there's and there's a terrain on the board. Kyogre. Okay. I think it's better to go after the Moltres. I think the Moltres is the the last like Enigma because like we can just freeze dry out the the Kyogre. And we also have Cali in the back, so like if we take out the Moltres. Cali is just great. So we're gonna Tailwind to outspeed Scarf, which is I think the right play, and just go for the Max Lightning into the Moltres, because we need the Tailwind up to secure that we can win with something else, like win with our uh, Cali in the back. Uh, it's such a greedy play though. If I just got the Ogre off the board, the Moltres can't do anything but Maxes, but I don't want to get, I don't want to get Airstreamed right now. Or do I? Do I want to get Airstreamed right now? If I get, if you Airstream me and I Tailwind, that's still a win. Yeah, if I Airstream, if I Tailwind and take out your Ogre, I still have the speed. It's in a repeat ball. It's a weird Pokeball to have. Max and the Moltres, like, Airstream would suck. Max Darkness would suck. But, like, I think I got it. Because, like, I'm going to KO this Ogre, and then I'm going to KO the next... I'm going to KO anything else. You either have Zashi or Kingdra in the back. Kingdra is messed up. And we're going to one-shot this Ogre. We outspeed it if it was Scarf right here. Ogre down for the count. I didn't want to take the spread damage and ignore an Ogre. You know what I mean? Even if I went after the Moltres and ignore the Ogre, like, yeah, I would have got that after the board, but, like, imagine you spout, you take my Talon Flame and chunk my Lucky. I didn't want that, you know? You can max Darkness. It won't get you any KOs. You won't even kill the Lucky here. We're too bulky. Yep. This isn't a full-speed Lucky set. This is my first Rodeo. Talon Flame's still at full, too. Like, I can still do whatever I want with it. Cherish Ball with Glaring Moltres. That'd be cool. Alright, so let's see. Is Lost Mon Zacian or Kingdra? That's basically what it comes down to. Zacian or Kingdra? I'd, I'd rather fight Zacian? Yeah, Kingdra's worse to fight, but now I, now I know I can just lock my Curum into a, a Scarf play and win. So let's think about this. If I were to attack the Moltres and at Max Guard and you KO'd my Lucky here, I would then have to go... I'm gonna dual wing beat there and lightning here because kingdra could only take out i guess you could muddy water that would suck but i have the right mons in the back between like kirim and kali i think i got the right mons to do with this you can, you can max guard with the moltres if you want um it's not great for me but at least i don't have to deal with zashian now zashian was a big mix-up and now i don't have to deal with that max guard yeah it sucks it sucks you are going to have to take dual wing beat damage, though, which is better than nothing. Cool. So that's putting you within range for Kali, which is the idea. And this is stopping your Moltres from getting airstreams. You can't yawn. You can just get a KO. You can get... Oh, AC win. Huh. That's, that changes things. That does change things quite a bit. I think that actually lets them outspeed my... Um, my lucky and they don't know that yet double protect we're not max speed not even close Do this around time. I was reading chat. I see was a good play. Oh, I saw it speed. That's a bulky Kingdra. Kingdra could outsped. If it was full speed Kingdra, which I already recommended people use, it would outsped. I like the protect talent flame too, just in case. Like Reggie's Reg is obviously gonna go down. Skull. Yeah, having the talent flame still around is good.
Yeah, well, it's made for Trick Room, remember? That's what I was that's what I was kind of thinking. I was like, this is a Trick Room team. It tried to Trick Room me turn one. That Kingdra is not full speed. I think Kieran Black can do stuff now. Kieran Black's a great bond. Yeah. You've been playing very well the last few streams I've been in. Yo, it's almost like I'm professional Pokemon player. That's a plus one. This is the last turn of Tailwind, but like we're fine. We're absolutely fine. We don't even need to show our Cali in the back yet. I think bringing out Cali would be a misplay here. Yeah. We take those.